Peace, shalom. My name is my brother E. Glad to welcome you back to another daily post of God's ministry. I'm going to begin off with a prayer as, as I always do. In the mighty name of Jesus, Yeshua Amashir, Father Abba, we, taught, we call to your presence um, for your throne. We thank you for your only begotten Son, who you give us as a gift to reconcile us back to you. We thank you for your law. We thank you for your understanding of the law and why the law was given to Moses and the other prophets and why Yeshua was the finisher and the mercy and the grace of that law to reconcile us back to you. For you are a good God, gracious God, a loving God. And although we may not see all the details of your law, we choose to serve you and walk after you and we ask for your blessings and your angels to watch over us and to guide us through our salvation and our salvation. I ask under the sound of my voice that um, the blood of Christ is pleaded over the listener, family, children, loved one, and finances, and everything that's not of the kingdom of God, to catch a fire, burn out of existence. I pray for inner peace and spiritual peace, and mental peace and shalom on the inside of my voice. I pray for upliftment and healing, healing in the mind, body, soul, and spirit on the inside of my voice. I pray for the full armor of protection to fall upon the listeners on the inside of my voice, the full armor of God Almighty upon them. Oh, Father, I pray that you hide the listeners under the shadows of your Almighty, so that you are protected from evil, you are protected from the negative forces. There anything that's an abomination to your kingdom that's coming against the mind, body, soul, and spirit of the listeners. I pray that they kept and kept hidden in the secret place of the Most High. So they dwell in the secret place of the Most High. And they are blessed in your secret place, Father. I pray for strength, faith, and mercy, and love to touch all the listeners. In Jesus' name, Amen. So, um, yeah, so Father got me back on here put some heavy on my heart, which is um, some of the things that um, the Father wants uh, for everyone to know, the things that would hinder us for um, inheriting the kingdom of God. As we know, the kingdom of God is within us, but it's not in everybody. It's in those who accept Jesus, Yeshua, Mashiach, the Lord and Savior, and accepts the law that is given um, to Moses and to Yeshua, who is the finisher of the law. Those things that's of the kingdom of God and all the things that are promised, it's in Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ and Nazareth. Once we receive him as our Lord and Savior, we receive all those things of the kingdom and the promises of the kingdom. We are seated in heavenly high places, as we know. And we're given power to trample over the Allah, the lion and the scorpion, which is evil. And these things are added upon you. And we must be able to exercise these things and to know that it's a great responsibility to have the kingdom, um, to represent the kingdom, to be an ambassador of Christ here on earth. That comes a great responsibility. Um, recently, it's been a talk uh, with some people I know um, and um, others that I came across who feel the Bible is not necessary in order for us to uh, understand the ways of the Most High. And, um, because a lot of people have uh, split uh, feelings about how the Bible came about, which is uh, scrolls, um, even from the books of uh, the Tanakh, which is the five books of Moses, um, and what was written in the laws, um, at that time, all the way up to Yeshua's time. And after that, a lot of people um, are in discrepancies about what is true, what is not, some of the things that's kept out of the Bible and what is um, kept in the Bible. It has caused a lot of division and um, understanding the ways of God almost high. But we do have proclaimed um, prophets and those who the Abba has raised up, who has given evidence, and through them, uh, the Abba's personality, characteristics, the, the divine aspirations of the Most High God, Abba, has worked through certain individuals to bring about a story, to bring about a story of coming from nothing to greatness. It um, brings about a story about struggles, uh, the disbelief, the belief, and uh, enemies, and all the things that's grouped into every human affairs that we could think of that's in life. 
that was represented by the prophets and people that's written about who manifest the Abba through them in life and over their life. So we have proclaimed men, men and women throughout history who, who has uh, changed history uh, due to the obedience of their call with the Father and all the prophets. Now, because, like I said, there's so many people who feel the Bible is not needed in order to serve God or there's other ways to God. And as we read and we know we live in the end times where there's a great deception going on and people will be confused and even the elect will be deceived. So it's a very, very um, dark time that a lot of people are going um, through and um, trying to um, be able, um, they're trying to um, sustain the sins that they're living in, period. is what the Abba is saying is because when someone has a taste of sin and the lust of the sin, just like when Eve bit the apple in the garden, right? Um, in her eyes, it looked it good. It looked wholesome. It looked fruitful. It looks promising. And the Father Abba told her not to eat of that fruit. She could eat of any fruit in the garden except that. But because the devil um, convinced her otherwise by saying, surely you should not die because the Father Abba said, if you eat of this fruit, of this tree, you will die. So the devil came, took what the Abba said and said, surely you're not going to die. Well, she didn't die physically, but she died spiritually. And she was cursed and, and, and brought upon in death, in the curse of death. She was living... Um, separated from the Most High God. And because of that, she also got her husband, Adam, to also follow suit and sin. So what looked pleasurable to the eyes and gainful, promising to the eyes, became the downfall for humanity as a representation of Adam and Eve and how that um, spins off in our daily lives and as we are tempted, as we know, um, there's things and our gut feelings that tell us to not do this, to not do that, but we still do it. And because of that, um, things start to come about and we are faced with judgment or we face with problem after problem and it's brought to our lives. And we have to endure those things. And this is the why Yeshua came about to have mercy and grace upon us because of the enemy whose clever tactics is deception and to deceive and to lure people to make things look attractive and alluring in order for people to live in sin. Now, I explain in my other videos, um, my other posts, how sin works and the demonic forces that's over sin. And rightfully, there is claim because the Abba has given permission. Um, yes, permission. A lot of people not understanding this. They have, uh, the demons have permission over these sins, to operate over these sins as a punishment. Um, when those who sin and lust in sin Whatever is against the Most High, less than sin, the demons have claims over you, and this is um, I, that's a whole teaching. Like I said, look at my other posts, videos, and you'll uh, understand how this works and stuff. I don't want to get too much in that. I just want to go with the flow as the Holy Spirit tells me. But um, there's so many people nowadays who wants to do away with the Bible, and this has to do with the Antichrist, the spirit of the Antichrist, and the darkness that's in this world, and the darkness and the sin, the demons that's attached to people that's trying to enter people. And the more and more that the sin occurs, the more prevalent these demons are within people. And it starts to take over their personality, their characteristics, even their, um, their mental state. And they become, hopefully, the demon, the sin in this nature. So as we're living in this dark time, a lot of people don't understand the, um, the importance of Scripture and why uh, we must understand Scripture. I'm going to take you to um, Galatians chapter 5, right? These are the things that the Abba placed heavy in my heart and for me to jot down and study as well and to teach. Um, these are the things to keep people away from receiving the kingdom of God um, and inheriting the kingdom of God um, in their lives, not only for themselves, but their family, children, and loved ones. Um, so we read um, Galatians chapter 5. It says, Now the works of the flesh are manifest. So we know the flesh is the cardinal mind, it's things of the world, right? The works of the flesh are manifest. These things are adultery. We all know what adultery is, right? Committing adultery um, is um, 
um, you know, actually cheating um, on your wife or your husband. Um, it could be either in lustful ways, it's imagination, stuff like that. Um, uh, fornication, meaning sleeping them around and having sex with this person, that uncleansedness, um, anything that's um, not godly, everything that's unclean, um, we should also ask the Holy Spirit what is unclean. There are a lot of things that's unclean to the Father Abba, but we would know and be convicted by the Holy Spirit because that's a whole other teaching in itself, the uncleansedness. But uncleansedness is just think about the the actual uh, underscore. When you think about anything, you know, uh, that's clean, um, uh, and that's the opposite of being clean. You know, when you wake up, you take care of yourself, you take care of your home, your house, that's cleansedness. That's a purity is close to godliness. So cleansedness is close to godliness. So if you know you take care of yourself, you wash, clean, do all this, you're, you're, you're clean, right? So anything that goes against you being godly, um, it's unclean, right? Lavishness. You, we know what that is. Okay, out of the tree. I, I'm sorry, I can't. I don't know why I can't say that today. <laughs> Excuse me. Idol tree. Okay. <laughs> Witchcraft. We all know what idol tree is. Witchcraft. Hatred. Um, we know what that is. Um, uh, violence. Um, you know, things that cause um, controversy, um, disagreement, discord. So anything that causes you to purposely cause a big disagreement, controversy. It could be community, family, children, loved one. Doesn't matter. But anything that you set your 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 um your will to to cause a big problem, a big scene, is vi um the virus, right? So we also go to um um immolation, which is jealousy, competition, ambition, driven by envy. Anything that's driven by envy, whether you're jealous of someone because they have something that you have, that, that, um, that you don't have, and you do everything to try to get what they want, um, what they have, I'm sorry, and then to keep up with the Jones because they're doing it, you have to do it. Um, emulation, um, jealousy, just just being jealous of people in general, okay? Wrath, we know what wrath is, when you want wrath and destruction and all this. These things are against the Father. Um, strife, you know, committing strife from problems in people's lives, struggling and just causing strife in people's lives. Um, sedition, um, which is um, um, rebelling um, against the authority, a state of monarch, meaning, you know, like what's going on today with how people are rebelling against the, uh, the government and um, the rioting. Um, that's another one, rioting in the streets and rebelling um, against authority. These things are against receiving the kingdom of God. Um, these things are against the Father Abba. Um, envy, and, uh, I mentioned murder, drunkenness, and rioting, I mentioned. So these things cut us off for uh, being in the presence of the Most High and receiving the, um, the kingdom of God. So the Father Abba want us to understand the reason why scripture is important because we begin to see to test the time of what the prophets and people have wrote who have a walk with the Most High, the Abba, and who can explain these things better than um, what we can explain, and who has laid the foundation for others to follow after that has bring, uh, brought uh, a change, uh, uh, also a, a divide between good and evil in this world and the things that the Abba um, loves and doesn't. So we all know that the Abba separated us um, to be holy people um, because of the other nations due to their sins. Now I always say that not everybody's going to be saved because the Abba showed me not everybody's going to be saved um, and not everybody's um, is of Yeshua and not everybody's of the Abba and they choose not to be. So this, this, this goes out to the ones that who want to receive the kingdom of God, who's in the kingdom of God um, and who wants to continuously to keep the presence of the Father Abba in your life, your family, children, and loved ones, um, we must uh, follow suit and understand these things which are against the Father. I mentioned other things, the seven things that the Father um, Abba hates. I mentioned that in my other video. As um, as time progresses, I'm going to continuously mention the things that um, the Abba uh, detests from us, and 
doesn't want us to be involved. And um, also, how what can we do to um, to wash his claim, which is go and actually show it to wash his claim if we committed any of these things that causes us to block us from receiving the, the kingdom of God, inheriting the kingdom of God. So it normally would be like, um, in Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach's name, I ask for forgiveness for any sins, iniquities or transgression, any sins that committed against the Heavenly Father that would keep me from inheriting the kingdom of God. Of um, Jesus, I ask, Yeshua, I ask that you release me to uh, release the Holy Spirit to guide me, to convict me so I cannot go down these paths no more, protect and shield me, guide me in the path that's pleasing to the Father Abba all the days of my life. And Jesus just showed me shakes name. Amen. So uh, that was a quick prayer that the Holy Spirit wanted me to give an example. You don't have to use word for word, but it is an example of what you could use to make sure that you don't fall into those uh, categories of not inheriting the kingdom of God or receiving the kingdom of God. So um, also the Father Abba wanted me to talk about um, um, things of witchcraft. Okay, um, and to ask the Abba, because there's a lot of people who are the results of witchcraft, meaning there were people who were born under the influence of witchcraft, under um, spells, incantations, and, and, um, and people who were involved in the occult were born under those type of energies, and those type of um, spirits. So the Abba wanted you to... Um, to ask the Holy Spirit to reveal these things to you and your children. Because if you're a man and you're a woman, you never know what your partner was involved with. You never know what they was into. Um, that happened to me. Um, I had the, the Abba told me to wash my children clean of the occult and anything that I was involved with, whether we are conscious or aware, because there's a lot of things that's a part of the occult that we don't even know that sometimes we get involved and we're like, oh, I didn't know. But that, thank God for the Holy Spirit and thank God for Yeshua who's here to rectify, rectify us back to God and to give understanding and knowledge and wisdom of these things. So um, the Father Abba, uh, even me, I had to pray, um, even if I knew or didn't know, or if even if I was brought into, under the, um, the rule of done witchcraft, because there were things that happened to me in my life where um, there was witchcraft done to me. So I know how it feels. I know what it's about. I, I know a lot of stuff. There's a lot of things. I've been through a fire, man, put it like that. <laughs> I've been through a lot um, with the occult and um, a lot of things that people have done to me. And, um, yeah, so I can I, I, I sit here and speak with authority on, on these things. But the Abba has shown me to, um, no matter who it is, uh, whether it's a, your woman or a man, to um, to go to your show, ask for the blood to wash you clean of any occult activity that was produced from you, even if... Your moms or your, your your father, you never know the situation. If you're a product of witchcraft, the father says, ask Yeshua to cleanse you, to set you free for these things, to wash you clean, and to uh, plant you into his kingdom, and to um, and to forgive your your forefathers, your, your, your mother or your father, but do not allow that punishment to be brought upon you. Because there's a lot of people who's walking around who's the result of witchcraft and the occult. And, and even um, going into uh, people who are walking around as a result of one night stands and with drunkenness, um, weed, drugs, and they're produced from that element. And the Father wants you to go to Him and ask um, to show you, to guide you in those things so you can be able to uh, wash your children, wash yourself, and, and plead the blood of Christ over you and your family, your children, your loved ones who came out of that situation, who was produced out of that situation, so you could be free, so the enemy cannot have hold upon you. And once you do these things, you will see a big change in yourself and in other people, your children, or whoever's connected to it, because these things have holds onto us, and they block our promise, and they block us from receiving the promise of the Father and her in the kingdom as well. So we must um, ask the Father Abba to bless us um, to give us the eyesight to see if we are a product of witchcraft, if our children uh, are a product of witchcraft, whether you're a man or woman. You never know what people are involved, involved in. You will never know what you was involved with that you didn't know. But whatever it is, ask the Abba to reveal to you. And so you can go to your shirt to wash you clean, to wash your children clean, to reconcile you back under the law of mercy and grace of your shirt and to come from, out of the law of the curse because those things are a curse. So, um, 
those are one of the things that I'm, uh, I'm still thinking of my mind. I couldn't pronounce the word out of the tree. <laughs> it's, I don't know why, but it's just not working with me today. But um, those know what I'm talking about. Um, so the Father Abba wanted me to um, kind of give understanding of these things. So this way, I'm sorry. My, uh, we got a lot of things going on. Um, this is a good one because a lot of things were coming against me as I was preparing for this. Um, and like I always say, when I have something good, um, the demonic realm, they come, they come. A lot of people are going to be free. A lot of people are going to see actual evidence of proof of being free and let go. So the demonic realm, they don't like that. They, they're they going to try. They're going, they're going to try their best. They, you know, they're under orders, under assignments. But if they try, they go down, baby, because it's all about Jesus, you know. They go down. I, You know, mama didn't raise no part, and Jesus didn't select me for no reason. You know what I mean? He selected me for a... Uh, um, you know, for a reason, and for the Abba too. So, you know, um, I get busy with mine too. <laughs> As these demons come, I get busy. Um, but, yeah, so a lot of people are going to benefit from this um, this word um, um, right away. The, uh, oh, Abba's telling me a lot of people are going to be running um, straight to him because um, they know that these words are true. These these are the things that it's been on a lot of people's minds Um because a lot of people want to do the right thing now. They want, they want, people, if you come here to this channel, that's because you want to do the right thing. You want to be in the world of the Abba. You want to change your life. You don't want nothing to do with this craziness in this world. You don't want nothing to do with this evilness. You want to change your life. And Abba obviously brought you here and brought you other places for the right reasons um, because you are chosen. So um, the Abba is um, blessing you with these words. Um, he just showed me what to say to you guys. Um, that you're gonna heavily benefit. The Abba said you're gonna you're, you're gonna benefit from it. You're gonna actually start to see a change in your children, your family life, your structure, and yourself as well. And a lot of people um, is gonna be set free. A lot of people um, who have been going through a lot of things for so many years it's just you're gonna be set free because of the occult, uh, because of the demonic realm, the sin. Excuse me. That your children, you may have been under as a, the um, as the fruit of it, of whatever sin that was brought about in birth, to cause people to be here. Um, and a lot of people um, don't understand this side of um, the soul, the salvation of the soul and the spirit, and these things um, which are mentioned in the Bible, which are uh, um, some of the things that are mentioned about witchcraft. You know, all all witchcraft is against the Abba. Anything that goes against the word of God. Is witchcraft disobedience um, is a form of witchcraft. Disobedience, uh, when someone is being disobedient, there is witchcraft going on um, in the spiritual realm. Whether somebody did something or is about to do something, that's uh, a hint of witchcraft, of disobedience. Especially when it comes against the word of God. If you hear somebody preaching the word of God and you're still being disobedient, you have a spirit of witchcraft on you um, from the demonic realm that's on the assignment. So, uh, I'm gonna cut this short. Um, sorry for the um, my phone. Um, I have it on the stand, but you know, like I said, this is a good word. I can't even pronounce um, idolatry. <laughs> I still can't get it right. I don't know why, but excuse me, <laughs> uh, you know, um, um, a lot of things were coming against me today. Anyway, um, I was supposed to have did this earlier. I was trying to um, relax. Um, Shabbat Shalom to those who's uh, doing the Shabbat. Oh yeah, also uh, the Shabbat. Um, um, don't forget, Jesus Yeshua Hamashiach is the Lord of the Shabbat. So if you're learning about the Shabbat, um, ask Jesus to forgive you, Yeshua to forgive you, and to guide you in the Shabbat so you can be disciplined in the Shabbat to take your time with it. Because um, Yeshua knows your heart. He sees He sees the struggle. We don't have a dummy God. We don't have a, a, a dummy Savior. He knows everything. A lot of, oh, also real quick, uh, a lot of things, um, Yeshua was telling me this to explain this to y'all. Um, Yeshua is very, he's divine intelligence. There's nothing that he don't know. Some people wonder why some people are, um, right, for instance, if, say like if there's someone who's a, just a negative person, right, and they're misleading people, right, and these people that they're misleading get into a lot of problems, a lot of trouble, right, and 
because of Yeshua having mercy and grace, he saves the person who's being misled, right? And the person who's misleading them gets angry and upset and says, why? They're not in trouble like they're supposed to be. I misled them. Why are they not going through all these problems in life? I misled them. They did the same thing I did and even did worse. But see, Yeshua HaMashiach is not a dummy. He's intelligent. He knows all things. So, of course, he knows that these people that was misled was misguided. So he's going to show mercy and grace. And even He's going to even bless them in front of the person who was misleading them. So these people will rise up and see the glory of God through the people that was misleading. So this is um, what the Abba wanted me to explain. Jesus wanted me to explain to y'all. Like, um, don't ever worry about people misleading people um, and, and people thinking they're getting away with it. We don't have a dummy God, man. He knows everything, all things. And if he allows something to happen and you pray for it, there's a reason for that. And when that time comes for things to be revealed, there's nothing that anybody can do. The enemy cannot do it. And things will, um, the person will be glorified. The situation will, will be settled. God is a righteous judgment of all things, man. Nobody gets away with nothing. You might as well give it up. Nobody gets away with nothing. You might as well get, get through with sinning and all that. Because we know as you get older, you see how the repercussions of your choices and actions um, bear fruit. And you reap what you sow in all things. So you might as well reap good things. So when it does come back around, you'll be able to bear fruit from the harvest of what you sow. So that's just wisdom that's from the Bible. These, this is why the Bible is necessary. This is why the stories and, and the different proverbs and the different instructions of the Bible is very necessary. Because without these things, we wouldn't know. We'd just be stupid and doing things what we feel like. Just doing. Waking up. Oh. I feel like doing this today, so we do it, right? Then we wonder why things in our life are so crazy, why things turn upside down, why one minute everything was good. The Abba explained to me um, to talk to y'all in a way real quick, another thing. Um, it's just like, you know, men, um, I can speak for the, uh, for the brothers, you know, as we were living in sin, right? We were in the world, and, you know, and we, we were with a woman or something, and, you know, we were about to have some fun, right? You know, uh, sexually, about to throw down the sin, right? And we we getting drunk, getting high, doing all these things, right? Just to gratify uh, gratify that moment, you know, just to lust and going hard in and doing all you have to do to make you feel like a man and sticking your chest out. And we last five minutes, uh, 20 minutes, however long you last, right? Just being funny with it. But after that's over, right? Just think about the headache that comes. That five minutes, let's give an average five minutes, right? For the brothers, right? Well, 20 minutes, right? That five minutes, that 20 minutes could bring you a headache for a lifetime because you can contract a disease, right? You can contract a, a, a children that you don't want, right, out of, uh, out of something that wasn't planned, out of wedlock. You can contract um, um, transformation of spirits and curses from the other person. There's so many things that can go wrong in that situation. For that five minutes of pleasure, for that five minutes of pleasure could make turn your life upside down, right? And then... It's like playing Russian roulette, going from woman to woman and doing the same thing over and over until something really happens, until you run out of grace time, right? Same thing goes for the woman. The same thing you do and you want a man and, you know, you're living in sin, you're living in the flesh and you want to be pleasured and you want a man to pleasure you. But that night of pleasure will lead to a lifetime of headaches because now you have a child born out of that sin, that pleasure, right, that you was so much... Um, gratifying yourself in for five minutes or a night now it has left a mark in your life written into re, um, into the world a child that was born out of that sin a child that was born in the intent of the gratification of the sin of pleasure so that child is going through the world feeling unloved because your intent wasn't to produce a baby out of love between you and your partner and that's ordained by God through marriage their intent was just to gratify that moment. Their intent was just to gratify your self-pleasure. So that intent is transferred to your child as well. It's transferred to the children. So the children walk around with the intent imprinted in them throughout their whole life, feeling unloved, feeling certain kind of ways. But thank God for Yeshua HaMashiach, who is our Lord and Savior, who rectifies back to the Father and rectifies things and situations. Because as we plead the blood over our, 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 our problems and 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 the wrong decisions we make, Jesus Yeshua HaMashiach begins, begins to wash that sin away, the intent, 
the problem and be able to be able to rectify our children and ourselves back to him and under his will and his purpose. So he takes what's bad and turns into something good. What was meant for evil is now meant for good. Okay? So I know that this message is going to hurt, um, um, help you. Uh, um, I know that this message is going to help a lot of people. A lot of people are going to benefit from it. I'm sorry that this is all over the place. Like I said, uh, things were coming against me, but I'm still here doing what I'm supposed to do for the kingdom and for the Abba and for you guys. So, um, yeah, this is what the word is. The enemy is coming hard against me, but I'm still here. And I pray that this gives you revelation that you've been seeking and that is able to help you and to be able to, to deliver you and your children and your loved ones. Peace and shalom. My name is my brother E. Thank you for coming back to another day that close to God's ministry. Peace and shalom.